Tony Stark was supposed to be sitting on that empty chair on the right. You see, when Doctor Strange was on trial before the Illuminati, Tony Stark, played by Tom Cruise, was supposed to be in the movie, but there was a reason he wasn't. Don't swipe or click away, because here is the Iron Man 4 new leaked footage, and of course, spoilers ahead. The leaked footage about Iron Man 4, which everyone is talking about, has to do with the new Doctor Strange movie. In it, we know that Stephen Strange has infiltrated Earth 838. We also know that the Order of the Illuminati, the protectors of that world, have been having their own fair share of problems with Doctor Strange. In this timeline, during the war against Thanos, Stephen Strange causes more trouble than good, so Black Bolt wound up killing him with a single blow. After that fateful day, they were very careful about other Doctor Stranges from other universes coming to Earth 838 and doing the same. Because of this, as soon as the group found out that Doctor Strange from Earth 616 is there, they immediately detain him and question him. Strange starts talking, and then Mordo, the new Sorcerer Supreme, introduces the team. Peggy Carter is now Captain America, or Captain Great Britain. Black Agar Boltagon is Black Bolt. Maria Rambeau as Captain Marvel, Reed Richards as Elongated Man, and of course, Professor Charles Xavier. However, from the comics, we know that Tony Stark is an integral member of the Illuminati. Was he supposed to be in the movie? Does this and the Ultron-inspired robot supposed to mean something? Well, we know that on Earth 838, Tony Stark controlled Ultron instead of the other way around. So now, the robots you see bringing Strange to this futuristic courtroom are all controlled by Tony Stark. But where is he in the movie? We see his chair. It's vacant. So where was Tony Stark and who was supposed to play him? In the second Doctor Strange movie, Iron Man was supposed to be played by Tom Cruise. He was the only acceptable alternative for RDJ, so we knew he was going to be a part of the movie. However, the movie that they showed on the big screens had no trace of Iron Man, only an empty chair. Why? Well, it's pretty simple. Tom Cruise was supposed to play the Earth 838's version of Tony Stark, but the main reason he didn't make it was because of conflicting schedules. He was supposed to come on the set, but as you remember, the pandemic was rampant and moving from the set of one movie, Mission Impossible 2, to another movie, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, was more than a little difficult. For Tom Cruise, the choice was simple to make. It was either smashing that like button, just like you should, if you haven't already, but no, in all seriousness, it was either make a cameo appearance and screw up your main movie, or continue filming the movie you're starring in. We think you know which option he went with, and had it not been for the scheduling conflicts, there's not a doubt in our minds that he would have done it. In this Doctor Strange movie, they just wanted the audience to feel Tony's presence. The director wanted to show us that Iron Man is still with us through the robots and the empty seat. And besides, there was a lot going on in this movie as is. They finally crossed the MCU with X-Men and the Fantastic Four. But still, this is promising. Initially, they planned on making the Iron Man movie with Tom Cruise at the forefront. That was before Jon Favreau and Robert Downey Jr. came into the ring. That's when the Tom Cruise Iron Man movie fell through. So maybe they will bring out Tom Cruise in Secret Wars. Currently, if they had decided to bring him out, it would have felt rushed and unprofessional, especially since the death of Tony Stark from Avengers Endgame happened only a few years ago. When they actually decide to replace Iron Man, it will have to be someone who has taken the time to perfect the Tony Stark performance. Otherwise, the cameo could wind up backfiring. Speaking of armor wars, there's a new TV series about to take place on Disney+. Plus. In it, we know that a villain will take hold of Tony Stark's technology and use it for evil. So, we know for a fact they will be referencing him more and more. So, maybe Tom Cruise will make an appearance there. But this is not the big idea. The big idea is introducing all these characters in a Secret Wars Avengers movie. Hear us out. There are already rumors that Time Runs Out is going to be the third installment in the Doctor Strange franchise. If they follow the comics, they will have all of the multiverses collapsing and their different realities coming together. Afterward, they want to introduce two more Avengers movies, with Secret Wars being the ultimate one. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. We should first tell you that the writer has said Marvel is using the same pacing in the fourth phase as they did in the first four Avengers movies. If you remember, they first 
teased space in the first Thor movie. Then in the first Avengers movie, we had the Chitauri invasion. And then Avengers Infinity War actually showed us Thanos on the big screen. Basically with Spider-Man 3, they introduced the multiverse. With Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, they actually gave us a glimpse of the other worlds inside the multiverse. Then they're going to show us time runs out before finally bringing the Avengers Secret Wars onto the big screen. According to the comics, the Secret Wars combined the members of the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, and the X-Men to bring out a plethora of supervillains, including Doctor Doom, Doctor Octopus, Kang the Conqueror, Ultron, Volcana, and finally the ultimate villain Galactus. He will be to Secret Wars what Thanos was to Avengers Infinity War. Of course, this means that they will be introducing a new Iron Man into the team. They have to. It's impossible not to. If not from Earth 616, then it has to come from some other Earth. And this is where the Iron Man 4 movie comes in. If you ask us, before they can introduce the new version of Tony Stark, they have to do it step by step. They can't do it all at once. Right now, with Doctor Strange 2, we've just been introduced to the possibility of a new Tony Stark. And the response is positive. However, had they introduced Tony Stark in this movie, there's not a doubt in our mind that the fans would have proclaimed a war on Marvel. But now, there are two scenarios we see playing out. The first one is that they introduce Morgan Stark, Tony Stark's daughter, played by Katherine Langford, as the Iron Man who will take on her father's mantle. If this happens, then we'll need to have a new movie. That's going to be Iron Man 4. But it's highly unlikely this will happen. Instead, we think that the role will go to Tom Cruise, and we probably won't have a brand new Iron Man movie to begin with. We'll just have a few cameos here and there. Armor Wars will have to talk about Tony Stark, since that's who the show is going to be based on. Then we will finally have him introduced, either in the potential third Doctor Strange movie or some other movie in the MCU. After that, they will have to introduce Galactus in another movie. Kind of like how they introduced Thanos in the first Guardians of the Galaxy when he threatened Ronan, who was on a quest to find the Power Stone. Similarly, we think they will introduce Galactus, and after that, the road to Space Wars will finally be open. They will merge all MCU franchises, they will bring Tony Stark back, and who knows, maybe even RDJ will make a cameo appearance as some past version of Tony Stark. On a related note, do you think there will be a separate Iron Man 4 or will they introduce Tony Stark as a co-star? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching.